50 grains, full power, crony is set. I-55 is 50 grains. Okay, so I think I was a bit too close. So let's do one more. Full power, 50 grains. Ninety-eight foot pounds, guys. That's flipping amazing. Fifty grain at almost a thousand feet per second. I'm going to skip the forty-eight grains and let's move up to or down to the forty-six grains. I'll show you them now. There's the forty-six grains infernos. Let's try them at full power. Okay, guys, forty-six grains. Full power, oh, let's just set the crony. Okay, guys, 46 trains. Full power. 94 foot pounds, guys. Now that's flipping amazing. Um, okay, guys, so Inferno slugs also make a 0 0.217 23 gain. Wall of point pellet cup. So I just want to put this at full power and see how fast they will travel at this with the 600 mil barrel. As you guys can hear, the wind is picking up quite a lot. So I'm not sure how, how the testing for today will go, but uh, let's see. Okay, 23 grains, full power. Let's see. 1,205 feet per second, guys. That's so close to the, the sound barrier, I think. I think we made it through, actually. Um, I'll just go calculate and see where's the sound bar barrier at the moment where I am. Um, but, wow. Okay, guys, so this standard Trumatra made 100 foot pounds and it basically costed me two hours of tuning with this. Um, it still has a standard valve, I just made some modifications to it. I mean, this gun brand new is round about a thousand US dollars roughly in South Africa. Um, I'll just put the, some few uh, prices from other countries and you can see. But I mean, this gun with a 600 mil barrel makes as much power as a new FX M3 with the power block and the 800 millimeter barrel. It's just unfortunate that the tour straight is 1 in 24, um, that sucks, but my future plan is to put a, a seven, I think it's a 700mm heavy slug liner from FX, either maybe I'll bump it to the 800mm depending on prices in South Africa, because, because then this gun will be I think the most powerful 22 cal unregulated um, PCP on the market, I think as is over the counter with this little modification. I think this is definitely the most powerful at the moment. Um, Price-wise, getting it to this power, it's not, only, I mean, it's not only going, it's not only going to cost even twenty dollars. I think maybe ten, not even. And like I said, I did a few modifications by myself. It took me maybe two hours to complete this. There's still one thing left. I
that okay the, my valve system works it, it hits 100 foot pounds at least um, but for now the true thing to get is a slug to work in this 124 twist and I think that's hard because all the calculators I've used it shows me it needs a small and light projectile or yeah, not small well short short and light um, but that's kind of hard to get I think the, the shape of it counts a lot as well but we'll get something that works um, at least uh, like the 34 grand javelins I know they work at 50 meters but past 50 that's a no-no um, so we shot a few of those rams that steel plates on 100 meters with 31 grains at full power 85 foot pounds hitting them is quite a lot um, yeah, the, sorry for the wind, it's quite shitty. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy my valve system works. Um, but for the future plans, I'll try and get a different barrel with a better twist rate so that we know we can shoot slugs. But until then, I think let's have fun with the gun. And there's still a few tests I'd like to run. Um, there's 60 grains to 50 grains to 48, 46s. They do uh, too long for the battle, so they flip and tumble straight out of the battle. Oh, sorry, yeah, this wind is quite Let me just get down to the car. Um, so, yeah, they're definitely not going to work in this too straight. Like I said, they tumble straight out of the battle. So, we at least know it hits 100 foot pounds, but we'll, well, I'll see if I can find smaller javelins, maybe, because I don't have a much sharp point. Hopefully that works. I'll see what I can do and find and test as well. But for now, I think let's stick with the 34 Grand JSB pellets. Uh, they do quite well. Um, so, so until then, um, guys, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or anything, um, you can drop them in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, give comments, and I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.